Diabetic retinopathy is a common diabetic eye disease caused by changes in the retinal cells. It affects up to 80% of all patients who have had diabetes for 10 years or more. In Britain, we are the world leader in preventing sight-threatening diabetic eye disease on a large scale because every diabetic patient is screened annually for any diabetic changes by the local eye screening program. Some patients are also seen on a regular basis by their optometrists. There are forms of diabetic retinopathy which do not affect your vision and might never affect your vision and uh, will not need any treatment. However, should you have diabetic retinal disease which requires treatment, I, as an eye surgeon, would want to discuss all the various treatment options with you. Luckily, we have a wide variety of treatment tools and these can be geared to your specific problem. The treatments we have include conventional retinal laser, micropulse laser, um, or some drugs which um, are applied directly into the eye, namely so-called anti-VEGF drugs or steroid medications. A more gentle and non-invasive approach to treating or even preventing diabetic retinopathy and diabetic macular edema is wearing a light mask at night, where a low level light is used to reduce the retina's oxygen demand during sleep and prevent hypoxia, which is starvation of the retinal oxygen. I have personally been involved as a chief investigator in a large multicenter study looking at the effects of the light mask. I do believe we now have a much better understanding of when and in what types of diabetic eye problems uh, the mask will have successful outcomes. Most of the patients I have treated or am still treating with a mask have shown a stabilization or even an improvement in their diabetic eye disease and their visual acuities, which is obviously great news. Music